His eyes were covered in red lenses. His costume was tight, black with a red piping, and showed off his strong, muscular body. He had an eight-pack. His chest was really strong. His thighs were thick. His boots were killer. On his chest was a symbol that caused the good people of Nova City to cower in fear. A tornado made of fire. Nate felt his heart start to race, but he would never let Pyrostorm see he was scared. No way. He struggled against the binds that held him. What do you want with me? He snapped courageously at the supervillain. Pyrostorm tilted his head back and laughed. <laughs> Oh, Nate, it's not you I want. Then why am I here? Nate asked heroically. Pyrostorm flew a little closer to Nate, eyes narrowing behind his mask, cape billowing. You know why. I have no idea what you're talking about. I think you do, Pyrostorm retorted. Everyone knows to whom your heart belongs, and since I have captured you with my diabolical scheme, we both know who will come to your rescue. <sighs> he always does. Nate felt a trickle of sweat drip down his forehead. He doesn't care about me. Pyrostorm shook his head. You're wrong about that. You mean everything to him, even though he could up anyone in the city, man or woman. He has chosen you. You must be something extraordinary for him to have fallen the way he has. And now I know how to strike at him, how to get him to his knees. You'll never win, Nate snapped valiantly. Villains were only made for one thing, to be defeated. Wow. Pyrostorm said, sounding really impressed. Did you think of that all on your own? Nate nodded. Yes. That was pretty great. I can see why he likes you as much as he does. And then a voice growled. You shouldn't have touched him. Shadow Star. Nate gasped. Because yes, it was. Shadow Star had come. He looked as amazing as he always did. He wasn't as buff as Pyrostorm, and his costume wasn't as obscenely tight but he was still the most handsome extraordinary that Nate had ever seen, even if you couldn't actually see his face, given that it was hidden behind a black mask that covered his entire head, except for his mouth. His costume glittered like a starry sky. And no matter what the haters said, it absolutely did not look like it was sequined. Instead, it was as if he were covered in tiny jewels. Shadow Star had once pulled Nate close, and just when Nate was sure he was about to be kissed for the first time in his life, Shadow Star had turned and run, climbing up the side of a skyscraper quicker than Nate could follow. But he was here now, hanging off the spire across from Nate by one hand, his other hand a fist as it dangled toward the river, hundreds of feet below. Shadows grew around him like they were sentient, thick bands of tentacled darkness that whipped back and forth. Nate wished he knew Shadow Star's secret identity more than anything else. Ah, Pyrostorm said, turning to face his greatest nemesis. I see you got my message, Shadow Star. I did, Shadow Star said, his voice a deep rumble that made Nade shiver. Though I'm sure the city would appreciate if you sent me a text, instead of burning it into the side of the mayor's office. Had to make sure I'd get your attention, Pyrostorm said. You have it, though I'm not sure you want it, Shadow Star glanced at Nade. You all right? Nate nodded. I... I'm fine. I'll get you down. That'd be nice. I need to talk to you. Nate didn't know if that was good or bad. Okay. Shadow Star stared intensely at him. Or at least Nate thought he was staring intensely, given that he couldn't actually see Shadow Star's eyes. He wondered if they were blue. He hoped they were. A cerulean blue, like an exotic ocean. They were probably beautiful, and hot, and full of anguish, and pain, at the sight of Nate trapped by Pyrostorm. Wow, Pyrostorm said. You could totally cut the sexual tension out here with a knife. Are you guys soulmates? Because you seem like your soulmates. Shadow Star turned away, staring off into the distance, full of quiet angst and strength. I don't know if I can believe in love. I've been... hurt... in the past... Pyrostorm nodded. Oh, I get that. It sucks, right? But sometimes you have to move on from whatever hurt you in the past. Or...